up and we are going to get positive. <laughs> Come on up for the rising. Hey, everybody. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That is Mark Ellis. I'm waiting, waiting on a positive day. <laughs> We are we are having a fun Friday. Mark Riley's at the bar. What's up, Mark? Do, do I have to sing? Uh, it's a positive day in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Love it. My my program director back in the radio days, about six ten in the morning, I'd be getting there, I'd be getting his coffee, and he'd just go in the microphone and be like, "It's time for a cup of Bruce juice." And he'd play something from Greetings from Asbury Park. <laughs> Good Call morning, everybody. This uh. is the Positivity Report here on the Good People Association. We're so happy you're joining us live or watching us later. We're so happy to have Mark Ellis in person. Uh, I'm at a safe distance here, though I shouldn't reach out. <laughs> uh, hey, hey. Oh, oh, no, we touched we fingers. Touched. Uh, we're going to get into his obsession with freezing himself, we'll really dive deep <laughs> into all things about it, um, and uh, talk about things. Don't forget, you can go to the gpa.fund to join the association and also check out our merch store, which is there. It's active and growing pretty soon. You're going to see some merch on us, mm. and we're going to expand. We're already working on some cool new designs. Uh, Mark, you want the GPA cape? That we're gonna make one day. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this GPA merch that I'm receiving because somebody just got themselves in the mail not three or four days ago oh. a nice GPA glass that you drink some sort of hard, Ooh. very strong grandpa alcohol out of oh. like a gasoline yeah. diesel is what I'm drinking out of this thing. It's a yeah. tiny glass, too small to put my ice cubes and Coors Light in, so I'm gonna have to pick one or the other. <laughs> I I love I love that uh, you're a fan. I forgot that you actually. Actually care about us. It's so nice to have, uh, have I, your care. I almost wore my Mark Riley Ken Napsock live from the Star Wars oh, Cantina yeah. whatever shirt too. That's definitely yeah. going to be made sleeveless. Well, that's, <laughs> that's definitely yeah. going to be a sleeveless oh, yeah. shirt. That's, that's an honor. A Mark yeah. Ellis sleeveless special. Speaking of sleeves, uh, we've got uh, Ikaika Shively over there uh, this morning <laughs> with us. I don't know why you got you got like sleeve tats, don't you? I have. Like this one. That yeah. counts. That counts, that right? Actually, I wanted that's to make a... it go here. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. God. All right, but... rocks. That's Calm painful. down. Now, Calm is that down. just shapes? Is that just, are you a big triangle mm. guy? So, triangle is kind of like shark teeth. Shark and teeth. Mm. So, in uh, Hawaiian culture, it's called mm. the amakua. It's like your like, family guardian. Okay. And shark is one of them. Actually, my mom's ma my mom's maiden name, Kaholi. Yeah. That's also named after a shark god. What? And each line is a different generation. So I only knew up to my great grandmother. So I got four. I'll tell you what, oh, wow. that is incredible That's because powerful. if you have to pick a any sort of animal, whether it's land based or aquatic, yeah. to protect you and yours, yeah. especially if you live in an island setting. Yeah. You probably want to go shark. Now, I know yeah, what yeah. the criticism is going to be, Ken. About the shark? I know they're going to say, well, sharks don't really play away games, so yeah. you're kind of screwed because if somebody step. attacks you on land, what's the shark going to do? Mm, are they yeah. going to call for help? Mm, yeah. are, they, are, are they going to summon Tag some sort of – are they going to grow legs all of a sudden? Yeah. No. But here's the thing. All – Ikaika needs to do yeah. is if his family's in trouble, you just get him on some sort of barge, some sort of jet ski situation. <laughs> you bring barge. him out. You draw the attackers out into the water. Next thing you know, boom, they're shark chump. I, mean, I love this. Yeah. Now, if you live this. in Iowa, shark's not a great draw. Not the best. Not a great draw. You, you want more of a... Uh, more of a jungle cat sort of guardian. Or a honey badger, maybe? Honey, honey badger, badger don't care. Fierce. Yeah. I don't know about that. Fierce, bigger than you expect. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. You can ride, you can ride honey badgers, right? Is that? Or I'm thinking of a Star Wars character, probably. Uh, probably like shoebacks, looking for dewbacks. Dewbacks. Dewback is the answer. Three, two, one. Five. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, uh, challenge. Um, also, oh, I want to shout out some to our fans. Uh, last Friday, uh, Mark, we had Emma Fife in studio. You know Emma. Fife. My neighbor. Yeah, Emma Fife. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, doing this great little uh, thing over on the Venn download called Thirsty Thursdays. And uh, we talked about it last week. We asked you guys to go check it out and leave a comment to the GPA uh, sent you. And she's been writing me all week going, man, the GPA people showed up uh, and they're supporting it and they're in the Ooh. comments. But her bosses are like, hey, the you're, boss. get, you're getting some engagement. Who are these people from the GPA? So the GPA, you, the founders, the bucket clubs, the socials, the fund members, all of you part of the association, head over there. Right now to the Venn download, or I should say after the show, or you could have it up on two screens, um, and and uh, comment and tell them uh, you appreciate Emma's work so she can keep doing that wonderful series, Thirsty Thursdays. We need, like, uh, what do we need? We need Riley to have a Hungry, hungry Man Monday. 
What do we need? Hungry for you? Man Monday. Yeah. Third third Wine Wednesday. Wine Wednesday. Wine Wednesday. That works. Didn't you do a Wine Monday show? Well, didn't I, I, didn't I, I come over to your place? I did yeah, some sort of show, Cantina. and you made an exception for me. You got me some light beers instead, and I believe that was on a Monday. And that I was remember... Riley's Cantina. That was a Star Wars show where we just, you know. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was fun in the moment, and then afterwards I'm like, well, I had a few beers on a Monday, and then yeah. I just started thinking, like, I think this whole week is just going to be that kind of week. It, it, tur- <laughs> it, it turns it up. into that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It started off right. you got to be um, careful. Uh, we're gonna have the morning musing here in a second, but uh, I uh, I want to make sure you're you're safe and sound and secure because you are buying uh, baseball cards. What are you doing today? I am currently in line to purchase a pack of NBA Top Shot moments. Ken, now do I need to explain this whole rig and roll? I'm not a yeah. fan of doing this on this seems, live television. By the way, I think it's hilarious because simply it, because yeah, I don't want everybody to know what I. Oh, gotcha. Mm. Did I out did I out you? Because well, now the cat's out of the bag. Did I I outed you. So I'm currently 37,000th in line. So I want everybody to think about this at home. Let, let's what? pretend like Taylor Swift is playing a gig yeah. in a 50,000 seat venue mm. and uh, 500,000 people want to go to that concert. And so Ticketmaster's like, all right, everybody, we're not going to oh, have sure. you line up physically. We're right. going to have you enter this queue, and yeah. then everybody's going to get assigned a random number in line. Doesn't matter. You get 15 minutes. You enter in the waiting room. Everybody crowd on in there virtually. We're going to give each person a random number in line. I got number the maybe 39,000. And um, mm. once you get mm. an NBA pack of Top Shot Moments, Basically, it's like a highlight. It's like a virtual yeah. co- sports card, and it's like a highlight. It's like Giannis Antetokounmpo it's, dunking or Damian it, Lillard hitting a three-pointer. It's like Don, John Stockton but in his sweat warm-ups. You, it, it's going to be very hard to find a John Stockton moment in today's NBA Top Shot. Now, they that's, may have that's, past highlights that would be very valuable, but the thing is shame. is that these things, they don't make a lot of each moment. Yeah. So it may be one of 15,000, one of 10,000, as opposed to back in the day we were collecting baseball cards, yep. and Tops and Donruss just kept printing them, Kemp, just, just kept printing boom, them. Boom, so boom, these boom, things boom. are valuable because they use blockchain technology. Crypto, we're back to that. Oh, this is like the oh. Kings of Leon album, right? That's right, just okay. how we got paid at Collider for three years. And <laughs> you now got, you that technology is being used. I'm kidding. No. And, uh, and, to apply, and it's being applied to these highlights. And so mm. basically you collect these things. You can sell them, you can trade them, and the selling, these things are exploding like hotcakes. I'll tell you all a quick story. Okay, tw- yeah. I love this. Story. Buddy of mine, Will, Will, he got in early on NBA Top Shot, like before anybody really he's knew like it was a thing. Guy. He's like Finstock, Tom Dagnino with the crypto. Oh, yeah. That's he big. is. Except I, I don't know that Finstock. They, I just bought a boat. Something like this probably <laughs> happened to Finstock, except yeah. Finstock would not admit that it happened. Yeah. <laughs> True. Will bought uh, a pack of NBA Top Shot back uh, when very few people knew about it okay. in uh, this past summer. Right. When the NBA bubble was starting to heat up, the, right. the, the playoff bubble. The crypto bubble. He got a LeBron James card. Ooh. LeBron James. Pretty popular player. A lot I of people want that moment. Yeah, he and is. is he the one dating Lola Bunny? It was worth. <laughs> That's the one. Who is dating Lola Bunny? I, I don't know. The, the, NBA internet, the internet. The now. internet. The internet. Internet is now. I yeah. always go to Chris Humphreys. <laughs> if it's anybody famous. Um, <laughs> And and he got a LeBron, and at the time, the LeBron was worth about two hundred fifty dollars. That's okay. what it was going for in the marketplace. In real money. In real okay. actual money that gets into your bank account. Yeah. And Will's like, I'm hanging on to this. Yeah. I'm not selling this LeBron. This thing could explode like hotcakes. Yeah. Right. Like Month later, he Deutsche sells Ball. that LeBron card. Yeah. Oh my God. Twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. Wow. Twelve hundred. He made a four hundred percent profit. Mm. And then. A few months ago, Will decided to look up that LeBron card, see what happened to yeah, it. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is gonna hurt. Fetching over a hundred thousand dollars. But what? What? Cold is, hard cash. What? But you don't know because LeBron mm. suddenly boom pops back down, and you lose fifty dollars or something like that. Sometimes cashing out's a good time. How do you know? Was it a matter of a week, month? When is the bubble going to burst? The bubble gonna burst? Nobody knows, but I think that if NBA Top Shot continues to pick up steam like it has, then more people are going to be invested in it, and it's a lot like what happened with Magic the Gathering cards. Oh, you see, yeah, Mom and yeah, Dad, yeah, all of you that coming back around. But I don't need a college degree. I just need to have played Magic the Gathering like I did. Yeah. Because Magic the Gathering was such a small 
remote based thing that yeah. they did not print a lot of cards in their alpha and beta and unlimited sets. Okay. okay. So those cards to, still to this day are super valuable. Yep. I right. got in on Magic the Gathering when they had third edition revised. They didn't make a lot of those, but they made a lot more of those than they did right, those right, first right. three sets. So those are that th- those retain a lot of value. Like I have an okay. unopened box of Magic the Gathering third edition revised boosters that, that is kind of like a, a wax box yeah. fetching anywhere from ten to twenty grand on eBay. Okay? Wow. Wow. But, mm-hmm. but, mm-hmm. beta, alpha, those sort of sets, because they made yeah. such a limited number of them, a Black Lotus in one of those sets is yeah. probably going for $500,000. Okay. So, but you don't Lotus. know if you have one, because it's in the box. Because it's in the box. It's in the box. But if it's in there, if you open in it, the box. it takes the value away, right? But then if you find that Black Lotus, then, could, th- then could. you can sell the Black Lotus for five hundred grand. Right, but that's a big... It's yes. a big. I mean, there's a lot of other valuable yeah. cards and stuff like that. So, so anyway, the, the point is that Magic made very few of them, and that's why right. those are that's still I mean. valuable today. So Unlike, you just can't mass produce it like what happened to us in the sports card market when the bottom dropped. Like, out. Yeah, you get a you get a Mark McGuire '87 tops rookie. You're like, yeah, and it's like twenty cents. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, but they're starting to come back. I, I think that sports card companies realize what happened because. Post two thousand, there's a Tom Brady card broke the record for the, the yeah, highest value so. sports card ever sold yeah. in history. Millions. Tom right? Brady's rookie card that was autographed by Tom, which helped, okay. went for one point three million. Yeah. Jeez. There's a Patrick Mahomes rookie that, from the same uh, card maker. I think it's like Pro Series or something like that. Not Pro Set. I wish it was oh, Pro Set. And good a, football card. A, a Mahomes one went for like eight hundred fifty grand not too long ago. Uh, so. A 1990 wow. pro, uh, pro set, Deron Cherry's going for a buck. Oh, if if I could just have the Deron Cherry, Kevin Ross backfield. <laughs> good they backfield. Had. Good, good, good. Albert good, Ross? Good secondary. It was Albert Ross. Uh, yeah. Albert Ross, I don't know. This is Kevin fa- Ross has great I, hair. What I love, that, yeah, I just, um, I'm waiting for you to sell because I remember one day, probably on a drunk patio, uh, a drunk patio excursion to, to the comedy store, yeah. uh, you were like, boys. I'm gonna sell the Magic the Gathering, and we're gonna go on a trip. Uh, and I, I'm just, I'm just. And it, and it was weird. He proclaimed it. He and he put his hand like this. Like, Gentlemen, I wish you to know. And uh, I'm waiting for it. The folks will come to order. Come to order, please. I, I don't know that I can ever, especially. I, I don't know that I can ever part way. I am such a sentimental collectionist yeah, bastard. Yeah. Deep, deep inside. I'm not a that's hoarder. But the things that I all because I don't want more of shit. I all the things yeah, that I do yeah. have, mm-hmm. I want to keep on because they're so few. You've been, to, you've always been in my apartment. Yeah. I don't keep a lot of <laughs> knickknacks and keepsakes. And when I help my friends move, I'm like, did you really need nine different Lord of the Rings steel books? What did I tell you? Yes. <laughs> I have one picture of John Riggins breaking a tackle. Yeah. I have my Magic the Gathering box. I have a couple unopened wax boxes of baseball cards. Yeah. Them and the dog are what I'm grabbing in the fire. Look, yeah. I, I think it's a better way to live. The last time I've moved, like I got now six boxes of Funko Pops in a storage <laughs> shed, and I'm like, there's nothing I need. I don't need any of these in my life. I think this Christmas I might give a lot away to, the, to, to kids in need. By that, I mean other 43-year-olds who want them, uh, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I, I think you're right. But I'm also so sentimentally attached to a lot of things. Like I have, Grace made fun of me, but like I had a pack of pencils that I used in second grade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I still have them. Is, and, it, the, is it the football team ones? Yeah. Because I love those. Yeah. You'd, like, buy, you'd buy, back in our day, it was probably. Remember that? There was a set, there was an NFC set and an AFC set. And yeah. Each one, obviously, 14 pencils. Each one had yeah. a different team. As soon as I bought them, we'd go school supply shopping for the year. We'd go to Roses, which is the discount Roses. store in Williamsburg, Virginia. Okay. God rest its soul. Ours was J.J. Newberry. That sounds like it, yeah. J.J. Yeah. Newberry versus Roses. You're getting a lot of stuff. It, it had prices. the shopping carts with the poles that you couldn't yeah, steal. Yeah, yeah. It was it was truly wow. the Del Taco of uh, hey, housewares, right. uh, kitchenwares, whatever yeah. you need. And so you buy the pencils. Now, immediately, the rule was in my family, you get home, you open them up, keep every AFC team, keep every NFC team. You take that Dallas Cowboy pencil, you yeah. break it, you throw it in the river. <laughs> is that is that for real? You don't use I love that. I would never that. use. And even if I did, <laughs> I'd probably get grounded. Uh, earlier today, an entire pack of Dallas Cowboy pencils washed up on the shores in Virginia. Uh, authorities are unaware of how they got here. I could use that pencil to get a 1600 on the SATs. And when my old man got wind that I used the Dallas Cowboy pencil, he would make me take the test again. <laughs> Shocking news today from Williamsburg. A young boy named Mark Ellis 
was found dumped in a river by his father <laughs> after he used a Dallas Cowboy number two pencil on a SAT test. The remaining members of the family currently celebrating at Chili's, losing this dead weight of the family. It's a Topher's funny deal over there at House Ellis. Uh, now... On with the dough. Uh, <laughs> you are so much funnier than the last host of this show. <laughs> hey, you know what? What that, that guy's name? That last host right now. We talked to the last host this week. He's doing well. He's coming back Monday. Josh McCougar returns uh, the puzzle report. We had to have a business Monday. meeting. Monday. Monday. It's he's. I, I'm worried. I'm worried though that McCougar's turning to the game too soon. Like they've got the quarterback on the sidelines and they're like, "What city are you in?" He's like, "Mars." But put me back in, coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, but yeah. he's coming back. But we had to have a business call with Josh on like Wednesday, and we get on. Josh is like, "Hold on, hold on. I'm I'm on the side of the road with a diaper full of poop, yep. and there's traffic, and I got to get this." And, and he's 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 doing it. He's doing. He's it. in the he's in the, the the s literally. Yeah, he is in. It I just would never wish it upon myself, but he seems to have glommed on to fatherhood. It's the best for him. So yeah. well, and Rosie has really taken to him. Now, that's all going to go away when she turns 14. Oh, God, yeah. But for now, the mm. naps that they're taking together, I will never get tired of seeing a picture of Joshua Hercules Makuga yeah. sleeping with Rosie sleeping on him. And it just, the guy has finally embraced the the lifestyle that I choose, <laughs> yeah. which is taking extensive naps, multiple per day, with a, with a much smaller life form yeah. next yeah. to you. Furry life form and absolutely no uh, silverware in the apartment. No, 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 no. Your plastic utensils, uh, they'll get you through. <laughs> get you through. They're dishwasher safe. Um, we also want to remind you that uh, Super Chats and Super, uh, Streamlabs, if any come in, we don't need them. They're not part of the function. There's just Bring some them in. Uh, donations. Uh, portions of those uh, proceeds always go to charity. And this week we are around. Today I'm making the donation to the Epilepsy Foundation at epilepsy.com. Uh, help uh, fight uh, and end epilepsy together. This is recommended by our listener and supporter and GPA member, Jesse Roach. Uh, so so uh, that's uh, uh, we're gonna make that hit today because of you. We get to make those donations. All right, I like that. Before we get on with the show, I think it's time for uh, at least for now uh, one of the last morning musings. Hey, you know Mark Ellis is here, and he's a friend. He's a good friend. In fact, a year ago, just about this week, we were in Las Vegas trying not to catch COVID while doing comedy at the House of Blues. And it got me thinking two things about friends, their support, their patience, and also not turning away from something that once defeated you. You see, I hate stand-up comedy because it defeated me. It defeated me because I let it defeat me three or four times in my career. But along comes Mark Ellis, and Mark Ellis kept whis whispering in my ear, the stage is yours whenever you want it. And I wanted to do it. I wanted to get back up there. I wanted to conquer an arena as best I could that once sent me away crying with my tail between my legs, but I just couldn't get there. But like a good friend, Mark Ellis didn't jam it down my throat. He didn't grab me by the scruff of my neck and take me on stage against my will. He waited for the time. He waited for it to grab. He had patience to know that what I wanted to do would happen eventually. And that's what a good friend does. Mark Riley's a good friend. Josh McCook is a good friend. In this last year, the pandemic, I think we've all had a chance to press pause and throw out and pull the weeds from the garden and sit there with the true friends that make us just a little bit better and push us to what we want to do, but also know what we need. So to all the friends out there and all of you who have survived and continue to survive this last year, look around you, gather your team, get in the huddle, Call the plays and know that you can trust everyone around you as long as you got good friends. Man, I love friends, but I still hate stand-up comedy. And that is my morning musing. I wasn't going to put a theme song until I know that's sticking around. <laughs> I was uh, totally buying a pack of Top Shot not listening to anything you said. What, what was your musing about? Uh, I just said something about Mark Riley and breakfast sandwiches. Roger that. Roger that. Actually, I will say, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, love when, I love when Uncle Mark Ellis shows up at the shows because uh, you, you get a text. Stopping by uh, Coffee Bean or Creation, do you want anything? Mark knows none of us want anything from Creation. It's a good restaurant. It's a good, healthy spot. I'm Hayden's drinking a, a peppermint spot. water from there. Hay Hayden Christensen goes there. But I, I, I was like, slide next door. Go to the Coffee Bean. Let me try the breakfast sandwich. I, I You know, I, it's one of the best breakfast sandwiches I've ever had, Mark. The eggs were fluffy. The spinach crisp. It was a good experience. Wait. What a friend for bringing that. Wait, cof Coffee Bean has a 
breakfast sandwich? That's what I'm saying. We had this conversation if you had gotten here on time for the pre-production meeting. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to say who, but... It, w- there was one a person, pre-production meeting? One person in the history of time that, that I used to work with semi-regularly would just freak out if you missed the pre-production meeting. Oh, yeah. You could be a minute late, and you turned into Tom Coughlin, just <laughs> yelling at everybody for not being on time for the pre-production meeting. Um, and yeah. Here's the thing, is that I'm fine with coffee, bean, and their egg sandwiches. That's what you want to do. But they, they, they're they just teasing at this point because they also make breakfast burritos. Whoa, None of yeah. these things have meat in it except they put a little bit of bacon. I need meat in the morning, okay? <laughs> I, I'm a man. Yeah, a man needs his meat in I the need, morning. I'm 40. I'm a man. You, I, but what, yeah. it, it's sausage. You, you're a sausage guy. I'm a huge sausage. Let me tell you. I tell what me. I did this week. Yeah. This only happens once every five months or so. Yeah. Old Mark Ellis doesn't get quite enough to eat before he goes to bed. And yeah. I had a pot soda. I'm like, oh, I'll pass out. It's fine. Trying to be healthy, you know, trying to not eat as much late at night. Yeah. So I go to bed and I wake up about 345 in the a.m. Yeah. And man, my tummy's grumbling. And I don't have a lot. I don't keep a lot of food in the house because I'll eat it yeah, if I do. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, boy, I don't know if this is going away. I lay in bed until about 4.15, and I say, I'm going. Go. McDonald's. Wow. I'm at the drive through oh. At 4.30, there's a 24-7 McDonald's yeah. in the valley. Yeah. I got a McChicken biscuit. I got a sausage biscuit. I got two hash browns. I got a large Diet Coke, and I listened to Sports Talk Radio. <laughs> and it might have been the greatest moment of the last 10 years of my life. This is like a Tom- Paul Thomas Anderson scene <laughs> in the middle of the valley. <laughs> We're going. I've yeah. got to go get my meat. Yeah. I thought Alfred Molina is your, 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 Alfred your Molina's, partner. Alfred Molina is <laughs> going car. and just get high the, on get, coke. Get the sausage, man. Get the sausage. I need the sausage. Get it. Get it. And you're just like William H. Macy. Man, I used to be smart, but now I just want sausage. Uh, and Amy Mann starts playing a song. I am way <laughs> too in the back of the car to understand Save any of that man's me. art. But um, I would liken it more me. to that scene in Best of the Best 2 oh, when uh, the, the one guy kicks the thing. They're trying to measure the pressure that you jump kick with, and the one guy kicks so hard he breaks the measuring device. <laughs> that was me <laughs> at McDonald's. Now, I thought about going to Jack in the Box, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, I- I'm not going to do that to myself. Because no. if I go to J and the B and they offer J everything the at all hours, that I'm going to get uh, the burger, which they, yeah. they now brag about making with extra butter. And it's like, what, what are you doing to me? Oh, and then Jesus. and then I'm going to get a box of the fries that they have. It's a box. They, they take curly yeah, fries and they, they put, put them, them in, in a box. box. And you may say, well, Mark, why are they putting them in a box? Well, I'll tell you why. Because in that box, they also dump nacho cheese, chili, bacon bits, and ranch. And I knew if mm, I'm in line, it's yeah. already too late. So I look at it as I had the willpower. <laughs> With my healthy diet to steer away from Jack in the Box, yeah. any other restaurant, yeah. you're doing yourself a favor. You're saving calories. Saving the, calories. I love that. Midnight Who, Box or something they call it? Yeah. What do they, they, they call lean it into something? It. It's the Midnight Box, but you know what, Mark oh, Riley? Bunchy it's meal. available 24 mm, <laughs> 7. Yeah. Who, uh, I'd, love to, I'd love to know the guy in the marketing meeting. He was like, let's tell him we make it with more butter. Just we slather all the butter on it. Yeah. They, 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 they literally, the whole line of burgers is called Buttery Jack. And, and so I'm at Jay and the V like a year ago, and I'm like, hey, um, I just want the regular burger without the butter. And they're like, sir, all, all burgers are Buttery Jack. Like, like, like they're talking to me like I'm an alien. And they're like, sir, nobody's allergic to butter. And I'm like, well, I'm not allergic, allergic. to it. I just wanted to. Just and and first it. of all, yes, people can be allergic to butter. Second yeah. of all, I'm trying to eat healthy. And as the word healthy came out of my mouth, yeah. <laughs> Yelling at the jack in the the box. box I'm not even yelling at a person. I'm yelling at the person in the box. Saying, I'm trying to eat healthy. That's I felt like dude in office space. I'm a people uh, person. Uh, that's what okay, Yeah, what you got? <laughs> oh, it's we have breaking sad. news. What's that? Oh, I have a dad joke. You have a dad joke? You have a dad joke? All right, I'm going to read this dad joke. It's, it's a really good one. Okay. Okay. You know what? I can't. Like, I'm not a dad. I can't do it. Oh, no! What the Breaking hell? news! Oh, Breaking my news. God! Breaking Wait news. a minute! Who is that? Woo! This is amazing. This. Don't trip. What the Don't hell? trip. He unplugged no. the camera. He broke plugged, the, plugged camera. the camera back Just in. Just get in here. <laughs> You're ruining the surprise. You know what? Screw it. Do it next week. Do it next week. Go You're home. You're done. Go home. We've got Daddy Look Josh McCuga here. We've got Daddy Josh sliding on Look in here. At this He's going to bring a boy. chair in. Oh. He's going to do this. Oh, it's uh, all right. We'll get, it. We'll get this, this going amazing. here. This is breaking news. Did you guys breaking, know about this? No, we didn't no. know. Breaking news. 
Young wow. dad Look puts at the down dad forearms. poopy diapers to join friends on show. Coming in hot. Let me Look tell you what, this. that girl can poop. Holy that girl <laughs> can poop. <laughs> Joshy hey something. Guys. What's going Can't on? Can't believe what are we doing. Josh Good is, to see Josh everybody. Josh is there. Uh, Josh is. Uh, Good to see yeah. you, pal. Josh is not here with Rosie. Uh, did you leave Rosie in the car? <laughs> she's in the car. She's. Uh, <laughs> she's okay. She's looking at the meter. She's watching she's the meter. Dropping yeah. coins in. Yeah. She's done. making sure. <laughs> you crack a window. You give them a milk bone. They'll be fine. <laughs> but, I texted a kike this morning, and I was like, I was like. Point the camera at the bar. Tell no one. He's like, it's like Christmas. <laughs> I, 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 I seriously felt like that Kristen Wiig skit in SNL where she's like, she can't hold the surprise. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I love. Well, I love it because he does it. I'm like, this better be the best freaking bad dad joke in the world. I do. But if he's, you I know, was like, doing what this. the heck? Well, yeah. the way he said it, it was almost like he was at a funeral. Yeah. He, he was like, I, I have a dad joke. And I'm like, well, it's okay, son. Just just unleash it. Upon, get that demon out of your body. It's, it's just... okay, Kai. It happens to everyone. We just <sighs> clean up the sheets afterwards. <laughs> and then uh, we don't tell mom. It's, oh, it's well, part of nature. It's a nocturnal. Um, oh, Josh is here. <laughs> you just turn into Eugene Levy from American Pie. Uh, we'll just tell your mother uh, we ate it all. Oh, uh, Mr. <laughs> McCoga. How's everybody? We're good. good man. You. How are good you? you? Oh, How are oh you? you know. Did you hear me? Are you talking about your naps on the way over here? Uh, I didn't hear so you. So I, I am so impressed that you've, that you've come over to the good side, mm -hmm, and yeah. you're embracing daily mm -hmm. naps multiple oh, at a time. Man. And when you do it with, with a life form much tinier than you, yeah. Yeah. it just oh, feels like a deeper sleep. It feels like Guys. two people using their respective sleep powers <laughs> to team up into one Voltron of napping. Well, yeah. here's the thing. is yeah. She's like a uh, she's a nuclear weapon as far as heat goes. Okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. So you can put her on you, and you could be cold and just all of a sudden it's just like heat radiates across your body <laughs> nice. right and so and she loves she loves to just snuggle like she's a big snuggler right yeah. the funniest thing is is that like her dad i mean poops all of the time yeah and so like you'll give her a bottle she passes out and then you'll have her on your shirt and you'll just hear like <laughs> And yeah. Amanda would be like, oh, we just changed her. I'm like, I know, we got it. How and many then, diapers you run through on a daily basis, on 10, a weekly basis? 10, 12. 10 or 12? Wow. Something that like that. Seems, what's, what's a that box? That seems what, excessive. No, what's, in, what's in a box? 20? Yeah, I mean, you're going through like a box a day. It's insane. Oh I mean, God. I don't know if like this is the average baby amount. Uh, it's a Makuga baby Yeah, I, I got to go buy diapers on my way home from here. Oh, um, my God. What did she do and, like me as a kid when my mom had them dropped off in a bag? Just claws <laughs> from strangers. <laughs> 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 what, what 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 do you need from us for as far as like because you're supposed to get somebody something and like what am I gonna do get you cigars like hey congrats on having I a kid like I'm gonna kill you in ten years yeah no. <laughs> Uh, uh, like uh, diapers? Yeah, I mean, s s help? Uh, no, 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 no. There are, I will help you move. <laughs> send, send nudes. No, yeah. a lot of uh, a lot of people Can't have been uh, a lot of people have been uh, sending DoorDash uh, like gift certificates, which has been really sweet. Because uh, oh, yeah. you just like the the crazy part is is and she's been an amazing baby. It's a lot of fun. She's yeah. she's really really sweet. The napping situation, Mark. I'm telling you, you put that baby on her chest and you are out cold. Yeah. Like these are the greatest naps I've ever taken. Wow. Um, um, it's like a life force. It really is. So Amanda and I have like you know kind of traded off. Mm. Like we're learning to trade off because Amanda has she's got to do all the heavy lifting at sure. this point. <laughs> I, I just come in like I was the closer. Say, it really hasn't been 50-50 to this no. point. <laughs> like Clayton Kershaw threw one hundred and seventy five pitches, and they're like Clayton, we're gonna leave one more out for uh, old old Harry on us to come in, <laughs> and in comes Makuga. Like let's go. <laughs> it's like oh, it's man. like it's fourth quarter, <laughs> three seconds left. Yeah. Here comes Gary Anderson to take it home. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gary Anderson. <laughs> it's like when they let the backup quarterback take the snap in the victory formation. Yeah, exactly. you know Josh, just take the snap and kneel, son. Don't try to do anything. One hundred percent. They're like, uh, this senior has been on the bench the entire his entire career. We're up thirty eight points on uh, on on the worst team in the league. Throw him in there. He runs down, chucks up a three, doesn't even come close to the hoop. Like, he's been on the bench for a reason. They're gonna bring an old butterflies Makuga to come in and run a play. Here he comes. Let's go. I don't know if you guys saw this. There, it was, it's like senior night or oh. uh, during a uh, college basketball season, so like yeah. the last home game for the seniors. Yeah. And this guy who literally got promoted to the team the, that morning because he'd been like yeah. a manager the last four years. <laughs> yes, he got into the game at the end and he got in the stat line because he took a charge. <laughs> he took a charge. <laughs> 
the <laughs> ultimate hustle play. And to see this guy get up, you just see a bunch of like tall black dudes high fiving this tiny like gym teacher from Schenectady. He looked like he was forty years old, and but he took a charge and he got in there and he was so happy. Oh man, oh, yeah. This so is that's great. So that's, that's basically what I've been doing is you know you you pump a, bo- a bunch of bottles, you freeze some, you put some in the fridge. Sometimes yep. you're breastfeeding. It's like a uh, She's basically eating at a cheesecake factory. Like her appetizer is the bottle, then she goes right to the nipple, then she does some of the frozen. Like it's just we're like a constant weave of feeding, right? Yeah, because yeah. it's the Harlem Globetrotters. It of really food. is. Like sometimes she eats a ton in one sitting, yeah, yeah. and she's out cold for a while. That's and then good. sometimes she's just like, "Listen, I'm only going to give you an ounce, yeah. and then I'm going to ruin your life for the next hour <laughs> by screaming in your face." But when she is like Sounds awake right. and lucid, yeah. she kind of looks at you, and I like talk to her and. She She's, and I'm like trying to make her smile. We haven't gotten a real smile yet. We've gotten some like okay. side smiles in her sleep. You know yeah, what I mean? Car. Yeah, get um, with it, Rosie. Come on, step so it up. I'm not liking many of the dad jokes. <laughs> She's not uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the pictures that your, your incredible wife posted of you walking. Yeah. Rosie, <laughs> you are already in peak 1985 dad form. Yeah. yeah. He's got the socks with the three big stripes pulled up. Yep. yep. It's basically like watching Ted Lasso have a kid. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Those are some dad shoes. Those right are there. some dad Come walking on. shoes. Come on. Look at it. Uh, Streamlab on. coming in. A super chat from Jersey Girl. Lori, Lori says, because McCoogs, because Ellis is in the house, take my money. Hashtag take my money. P.S. There's a baby gift coming to the studio in the next couple of days, Ooh. according to UPS tracking. And you already have one here. Oh. You got to take that box home because well, uh, the GPA f- uh, f- people want to want to make sure you guys. Are <laughs> I got, I got your baby it. M drive. Yeah, yeah thank Is you. Like, <laughs> I'm, I've been sitting. I took the M drive one time and I was so caffeinated. Like I was like, I'm going to eat this microphone. So I've been waiting to take it after the baby was born. So like, because I wake up. Yeah. Here's the thing, Mark Riley. Yeah. Is that I wake up like you go to sleep. Here's the thing. It's this it's this game of like cat and mouse, right? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you're playing chicken with a baby, okay? So <laughs> at like 7 we maybe. are on the air. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We at are like 637 o'clock. Okay. You get you give her a bottle, okay? okay? And then she might sleep until about 9 ish okay then you're going to want to give her another one yeah okay because then she's going to sleep till about 12 30 one o'clock so a little nap as soon as 9 30 hits you're like i don't even have the tv on anymore just put my (laughs) close my eyes and put my head on a pillow just like go to sleep go to sleep go to sleep (laughs) because then a couple times in the middle of the night and like as soon we're allowed to like let the baby start trying to sleep because now like the baby will sleep but you have to wake it up to feed it because it's not doesn't know that it's supposed to eat every three hours do you still it's like a tortoise no, it's Rosie. Still She's, calling it? Okay. Well, I mean, it's, it's like a tortoise. It's a tortoise. You got to remind it. He's yeah. calling it twice. Oh, what, I, what I love is that. Uh, uh, I'm <laughs> trying to be, you know. I love that Josh, Josh is. Uh, Josh is really trying to, uh, you know, he and Amanda are really going through. They got their sleep. It's 9.30, they're asleep. And, and here's Mark Ellis and I texting him on a chain. Remember when Joe Ferguson was quarterback <laughs> for Lions? <laughs> it's so true. I'm, like, giggling, and Amanda's like, who texts you? He's like, yeah, it's kind of Mark. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, it was, it was, Remember Franco uh, Harris? Yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't updated Josh on sports until yesterday when I reminded him that the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, re- greatly reduced Big Ben's contract. Yes. And yeah, yeah. that was the first sports Whoa. talk I know. that we've yeah. had. Jeez. And well, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to overload you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> sitting there watching this happen, and I hear a sports – a announcer go like he he's taking way less money almost pennies i'm like he's making 16 million dollars <laughs> are you kidding me the guy's made like 300 million over his career he can't throw the ball past week 11 so just yeah. give him the money just he, he knows it <laughs> he just wants one more try at the old go around that maybe this year if they like sit him weeks five through 12 and we're when we're in playoff i don't hate that bring, idea bring him in let him sling the rock, and he, he, we clearly don't have an offensive plan with him. It's just like throw it as many times as you can, ten yards of time, because yep. you can't throw it longer than twenty. You have to save his arm. It's the same thing the Saints should have done with, with with Drew Brees, and I guess they tried to do because Drew decided to fracture nine of his ribs. Yeah. Like, this actually is good news, but Brees' arm was shot. Big Ben, his offseason training regimen is akin to Barney Gumbles, mm-hmm. right. and so you're only going to have a guy who's in such good shape when the season starts. But having said that, it's still better than the alternative. One hundred percent, which is. 
is it's just who knows. It yeah. could be like, hey, you know Mark Ellis threw a football once. Can he start for the Steelers? I threw a vortex. <laughs> oh, 55 yards. That's the update here on Vortex. That's Chicken in the Beave here on 570-80. Chicken in the Beave. We'll get your Dodger talk coming in after this one here. Uh, in, hey, in chat, Christopher Skaliski. We know Skaliski. Hey. Hello, what do we have here? We missed that guy. Uh, we missed that guy. The biggest St. Louis Cardinal fan I ever met God. outside of Tim Powers. He's like, how old? Uh, first time I yeah. he's like, how old do you think I am? I was like, 19. He's like, 38. I'm like, get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Skaliski is actually Mark Riley's uncle. Yeah. Not a lot of people knew that. <laughs> not a lot of people knew that. Yeah. Did yeah. Not know yeah. That. yeah. One of the building blocks of the Schmodown back in the day. So yeah. we appreciate you. No uh, Schmodown without that kid. Yeah, no. there mm-hmm. absolutely isn't. <laughs> without that kid. <laughs> without, <laughs> without the guy that's without my uncle. He's probably the same age as me. You know, he's, we're out here like uh, making our comedy dreams come true. It's like, I just bought my second house in a weekend boat. Uh, you know, what you guys do? We're like, I don't know. I'm hoping Jack in the Box has leftover <laughs> butter burgers. <laughs> I'm, I'm at the door listening. I'm like, ooh, that butter burger sounds pretty. Oh I will God. say this. like, trying to, The first couple weeks of this thing, I've been like, you know what? I'm going to get a workout in today. I've gotten mm. like two workouts in in, in 11 oh, days. Yeah. No, you man, look good. That is huge. I've been good. trying. Uh, I you know, but you here's the thing. Like I said, you're at the whim of the baby. So right. You like start. I've started a workout and been like twenty minutes in, and then she, Amanda's like, she's hungry. I'm like, all right, go thing. Good. And then all of a sudden, you feed her, you change her. Thirty minutes later, you're like, I guess it's time for dinner. Like there is you, you really like getting a schedule in with the Impossible. baby with Rosie. Again, she has been an absolute joy. Like oh, being no, a yeah. dad is is it's pretty magical. I will say that. Like I didn't. I love my nieces and nephews, and uh, yada yada yada. Mm-hmm. I've always said I'm never gonna have kids, and then this little girl pops out and totally changes my entire life. Oh, and it dead. is. It's All amazing. for the better. Like, I can't wait to bring her to the porch when she's, like, 10 and be like, Daddy comes here. Okay, this is where Daddy likes to be. And she's like, hi, Uncle Mark. Hi, Uncle Ken. And then she, her mom's like, all right, and now Daddy stays here and you go home. I'm like, yeah. That's what Dad, Dad does. Uh, Uncle Mark's going to do some comedy. And we're yeah. waiting for other Mark to show up with yeah. a bottle of wine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I know it's all fun and games with a kid right now and the naps are fun. In 10 years, she's going to – I hope she's popular. She's going to have to bring a lot of her friends to these virtual these comedy bringers. shows. Yeah. yeah. Okay? If I'm not in front of an audience again in 10 years, yeah. you then Rosie and her class Woo. are going to experience Uncle Mark. That's amazing. Goodness. Take me to, Josh, the first, because I you were texting me on the way home. I, I In life, being a parent or also like getting out of the police academy and getting a car and a police car for the first time, you're like, this is it. It's I, I'm out here on the streets. You're going home. You're a dad. No doctors. No pamphlets. Uh, take me to that moment where you're like, oh, F, this is real. Well, I will say this. Like the first night in the hospital. So she was born at 813 in the morning. Yeah. Mm. You, you get um, it done early. Then you have the, the rest of your day. You want to hear that? I played the four number Super Lotto Plus that day. Oh, eight. 03 hit. Yeah. I played 0813. Missed it oh, by it. Man. One so day. 813 in the morning. So basically, Rosie was like Bernie Sanders at an inauguration. Let's yeah. get to this. I got things to I go got, to. I got to go. <laughs> so, got her little mittens. Yeah. <laughs> She does. She, because her fingernails grow like Mark Riley's. Like, I've called her Mark <laughs> Riley multiple times mm-hmm. because she's Already, got these huh? long fingernails that yeah, she, yeah. and she, she, you know, she got these hands and she scratches her face. Yeah, and, yeah. and it looks like we're abusing her, so you got to put these mittens on her, or a lot of the onesies now come oh. with like gloves on them. Wow, yeah. because her fingernails grow. So oh bad. my god, they're like I. We have this little uh, emery board that's sort of like the sander they use on on uh, uh, Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber, you know? And they're like, <laughs> 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 but it's like really sensitive, so it just like gets her nails down, and so yeah. she and she doesn't cry or anything. Because if they were to give me a nail clipper, I'd, I would know what to do. It's it's the nails are How literally about, the size of a pin. Yeah. How much is that? I got I got a Chihuahua that doesn't like <laughs> his nails cut. I mean, I can just I, drill Amanda spends. We get like ninety seven boxes from Amazon a day. I Amanda's yeah. like, you know, we can't afford a house. I was like, well, if you stopped ordering all of Amazon, we might be able we to might afford something. Be able to do it. <laughs> this is and this is the Josh that we this expected. Is, this is yeah, the but one. anyway, and she also does this. <laughs> she just <laughs> she's <laughs> doing fantastic. She's the best. I love her so much. But so you, you, so yeah. Okay, so first night in the hospital, uh, you know, the nurses will come in and help you, but you know, we're kind of there. We're in there. I changed the diaper in like a blackout. I was like, I don't know, and then fall back. And I will tell you this: Did you practice no. changing a diaper no, leading up to the event? My nieces once, and I changed uh, Tanner and Kayla's kids once. And I put Tanner and Kayla's kids diaper on backwards. You said it on the show. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, uh, whoops, <laughs> Daisy. And there's, uh, by the way, if you're at home, diapers say front on them, so it's they- kind of hard to mess them up. <laughs> It says front on the front oh, of the diaper. Some good, some good yeah. instructions. Yeah. <laughs> so when Uncle Mark babysits for eight seconds, I'm like, Mark, no, I'm no, watching no, no, you. No, 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 no. Here's how I babysit. Uh, it, something happened. 
<laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so, uh, so first night in the hospital, I'm like, I changed the diaper. I will say Cedar Sinai was amazing. Like the staff was amazing. I'll tell you what wasn't was amazing yep. at Cedar Sinai mm -hmm. is what the, they make you sleep on. Like so, Amanda obviously mm -hmm. she did all the heavy lifting. She gets this nice, amazing bed. They gave me like a folding chair. <laughs> It's literally like the worst recliner. You, I'm like, yeah. I, I, yeah. I thought I got sciatica from the hospital for yeah. two nights sleep. That's how they like, you back. Do you think we should go today? I'm like, I can't stay here another night. <laughs> I, I have to go home. Uh, I wasn't. A, so anyway, I'm complaining about. You can't. Stupid you stuff. can't sleep in the bed with her. No, she it's not a nice bed. bed. You can't. Yeah, but it, James like, Garner slept with what's her face at the end of the <laughs> the notebook. What? A notebook pull from Mark Ellis. You love to see. it. I had to watch <laughs> it recently. You all love to see. You all love to see it, Ken. So, uh, <laughs> but also Amanda just had like major surgery, so I can't really yeah, touch yeah. her. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, Fair. Yeah. It's it's kind of tough. <laughs> I'll allow yeah. it. I'll allow it. Yeah. So uh, she was a great baby in the hospital, whatever. But, you know, like you leave Lowe's or Home Depot. There's like a woman there dressed as a security guard that checks yeah. your Rece receipt. Yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah. Okay. You got it. We just walked out of the hospital. Just boom. <laughs> stole a baby. She's like, the guy's like, have a good day. I'm like, are you, you, do you want to call somebody? Is that or? your baby? Good job on that. What's going on? We get in the car. <laughs> do you need parking? We get in the car, and Amanda's like, drive really slow. I put on the four ways. We're going up Los Angeles. <laughs> got like 20 miles an yeah. hour. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> People are swerving around me. Like, Go around me, you maniacs. I got a kid in here. Did so, you get one of those stickers? The, the baby, baby on, on board? board? No, because I feel like that's an invitation for weird people to try and baby steal a baby out of the car. On board. <laughs> <laughs> I love Boy, that. that went dark. I mean, I think <laughs> I don't think you're wrong. Because here's the thing: if if somebody's like, yeah. okay, yeah. they've got a baby on board, okay, yeah. Han handsome guy, beautiful woman, kids probably good looking, they're gonna follow me home, <laughs> find out where I live, and then they're gonna break into our apartment and steal our baby. Okay, that's I, what I, 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 I steal I, your life. I, yeah. You know, Amanda is hot from a distance. <laughs> Um, you <laughs> wow. are wow. Wow. somewhat, wow. I'm not telling tales at school here. Your wife is hot from a far range. Whoa. Your wife is beautiful from space. Whoa. You, on the oh. other hand, My if God. I am into males, not saying I'm not, yeah. I'm not confirming or denying anything. Yeah. And I see Josh just driving in a car. I'm not being like, ah, oh, I, I got to turn around. That guy's hot. Oh but you're God. you're an acquired taste. You can, can put a poll up there. Can we put a poll? Up? <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm winning any beauty pageants. <laughs> I just I'm just it. saying if I see you drive by, I'm not in a meeting going to be like, was that Brad Pitt? It's like no, it was, it was a guy. It I was loved, a guy. I loved you as Woody Harrelson's stand-in's friend, and white men can't jump, Marcus. You're great. I, I love it. That, that took a turn. I will always <laughs> be the Kadeem Hardison here, <laughs> yeah, Wesley Snipes. Oh you, my you. God, that was amazing. So, that was yeah, so a we, lot of wows in chat. <laughs> Wow! Wow! A lot of whoa! Yeah. I'm just all I do is all I do is spit facts. But here's the other thing: is like, okay, so I have a baby on board. Does that mean that somebody's gonna be less aggressive on the road? Shouldn't we all be less aggressive on the road? Like, shouldn't you not want to ram your car into my car? But this is we're asking this for you. This is uh, maybe how you uh, conquer your road rage. Yeah, is I think the this baby is it. on board. Thing? I actually like you putting yeah. a sticker that says just that. Can't we all be nicer? <laughs> See? Can't we all be less aggressive? Put it in the merch store. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Heather S. in chat, it kind of, uh, Heather S. in chat says uh, yeah, the, that sign is to alert paramedics in case of an accident. Oh. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I think more likely oh. it's for burglars to burgle babies. Yeah, well, <laughs> see, here's the thing is I watch enough of this stupid true crime and listen to the damn yeah. stuff with my wife who's yeah. hot from afar. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Hot from a distance. <laughs> and, 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 uh. Beauty you can the, see from the, the Mars. Was, the guy was in my effing wedding. The Mars rover. <laughs> I'm his emergency contact. He called my wife a hard five. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, that's not what I meant. I meant that, that she's hot even from a distance. Oh. Yeah. Something that could have been clarified <laughs> upon your statement. Because you, you basically were like, <laughs> you're like, well, up close. She's like, ah. no, from like, afar. Geez, for, no. for like seven minutes here, it's been this hot from afar. <laughs> Samsonite. I was way off. You didn't pick so, up on the fact that when I said she's beautiful from space, yeah, I, that, well, that, that means was a good you follow. can even spot the beauty from that far away. 
the uh, point we, is that if you get close up with Josh Bakuga, he's an attractive man. You get up close with, with Amanda, you win at life. I'm saying that even if from a further back position, you can still see her beauty. Uh -huh. That her Boy, beauty yeah. knows no parameters. Yep. Yours has like a 10 foot uh -huh. radius. Okay. <laughs> she's a 10 if we're driving through that Altoona. Was the point. <laughs> In Brawley, she's a hard 11. LA, five. Amanda knew what I was talking about. Yeah. That's all that matters. So, Let's see if she texted me. So, so no text from oh, Amanda just yet. Whoo, she's not watching. He's still <laughs> waiting. Um, that, was, that was great. Yeah, this is great. Yes. But so we get yeah. home. We get home last Thursday, a week ago yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I tell Amanda, I was like, I need to put some stuff in the fridge because we're gonna need just some kind of food. Because basically, like, I don't know why we thought this was a good idea. Yeah. Because we basically like, ate everything, and then we got home, and I was like, we don't have it. We don't have it here. So what was gonna go bad? It was like after 38 hours in the hospital, I think we would have been fine with some old milk. <laughs> It's a yeah, day and a half old. You just have a bunch of those yingling lights. Yeah, basically, like the, the yingling raging eagle mango just <laughs> sitting in the fridge is all we have. It's like, babe, you want a white claw? What do you got? So I make, her a, I make Amanda a spritz just to kind of calm down. And I go to the store. When I come back, she's got this look on her face like something happened. I was like, what happened? She's like, nothing. I'm just very stressed out that we don't have any help. That, that it's just us and the baby. And Rosie's just sitting on the couch just asleep. Cause like, I was like, I think she's, she's fine. She's okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. Now, here's the thing: is everybody warned us about that first night home, <laughs> right? Okay? First night, yeah. First night home. Like my brother talks about that first night home. Mm. Like all of a sudden, the Germans invaded Poland, 1939. The bombs yeah. are flying, and you gotta do. You gotta get your family out of there, and you gotta get across the border and <laughs> yeah. save everybody. Right. Okay? Right. <laughs> so, I'm I'm expecting the worst. Guys, I got like a full eight hours. <laughs> good. I'm, I woke amazing. up like twice. I was like, baby, you need anything? She's like, oh, she seems pretty good. good. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, Amanda is freaking out and she's not telling me. The next morning, she's like, I was like, whew. I was like, did Rosie do okay? She's like, you didn't move. I tried to wake you up. I was like, oh, man, I'm a heavy sleeper. So now I have to like set alarms because I botched that first night. Mark. I totally botched it. Okay. 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 But we're, we're, we're figuring out the feeding. We're figuring out the oh, diaper wow. changing. Is She is like, she's peed on me multiple times. Sure. She is a ticking time bomb. I call her the diaper sniper because all of a sudden... Yeah. You're like, oh, I got the diaper out, and then shoop, she'll get you, right? As you're, like, down there looking to, like, wipe it, boom, right in the face. She'll get you. Yeah, have she'll you been hit you. dead on? Oh, yeah. right in the eyeball. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Like a, like yeah. a Red Dead you gotta, Redemption 2. Right in the eyeball. <laughs> there there are dozens. It, you get a little, well, you, it looks like human feces. <laughs> well, not the poop, the pee. The, the, poop, oh, the, pee. the okay. poop can't shoot yet. Yet. The pee can. We're I heard the, the poop, poop can shoot. The poop will eventually will shoot. I've, I've read. I read a told. lot of uh, uh, no, children's periodicals. Here, yeah. Oh. Here's, the, here's the funniest moment of, of the childhood so okay. far. So Amanda went to her first doctor's appointment, check her stitches, all that yeah. kind of stuff, make sure she's doing okay. And so I waited in the car with Rosie. Okay. Okay. Uh, Amanda was supposed to be in there for about an hour. I just make sure that she's okay in the car seat. I wasn't allowed to go in the doctor's appointment. Amanda's not allowed to drive by herself just yet. She had to sure. just wait a few weeks. That's right. Okay. So we're in the back seat. I'm looking at golf stats, trying to pick my fantasy lineup for the week. I'm yeah, like, Yacht Rock on the air. Yacht Rock is on the air. We're mm. fine. Mm. Uh, I'm. I've been reading uh, Rosie all kinds of. Um, you know, golf stats, fantasy stats. I want her to know. I hope I put that grip in her hand every day. I make sure that she knows. We're watching LPGA this morning. I'm telling okay. her about all the golfers. Mm -hmm. I'm making sure that she re realizes what she's getting into. Are her life. hands bigger than mine at this point? I mean, are, very are we close. are we about this? Very close. She's got longer fingernails <laughs> than you, which is shocking. Which is shocking. <laughs> hey, I'm, I I grow fast. I'm yeah. no Riley, and apparently <laughs> Riley gets it from his uncle's side of the family, Chris Skaliski. So mm -hmm. that's correct. Skaliski is yeah. apparently half adamantium. Which yep. is, Crazy, because yeah, yeah. back in high school, when he graduated in 77, they called him Nails Skaliski. <laughs> Nails Skaliski. <laughs> Nails on a chalkboard Skaliski. <laughs> Woo! Nothing uh, like him. Guy From three-point range, the guy was absolute nails. <laughs> he deflated the uh, basketball oh, yeah. every time he got it. It was like that family guy when they <laughs> fall into the pit of toxic ooze and everybody gets a superpower and all Meg gets is like <laughs> growing fingernails. Yeah. Oh, a, hard, a hard Ow. smash, 30 rock <sighs> cut to yeah. ball, Skaliski catching it and... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I'm in the car, and you know, Rosie's like, she when she gets fussy, she start. You're you're supposed to know this is like as a dad, I didn't know this until the yeah. nurse told me. But like when she starts going like, mm -hmm. it means she's hungry. So she's like, a, she's like that's, a walking dead walker. She's like yeah, trying to bite. You, that's right? what I told Grace about me. <laughs> <laughs> Fire up a microwave burrito. So it's either she's uncomfortable or she's hungry. So I throw her in. She's like, sometimes she just needs a boober to be held. I, I want to put that on a onesie. Yeah. Okay. So 
Uh, I'm, I've been coming up with merch ideas merch for store. two weeks. Merch <laughs> Put ideas. it on the merch. Where's Kent? Does she okay. have a different bite for when she wants like the actual, the actual udder versus uh, the bottle? Another call. My wife has udder. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I was trying to be classy about that. I was. I was trying I have, to not say I have nipples. Greg, can you milk hey, me? Hey, what's the old number three cow coming in with the milk? <laughs> this is. So, I. My words are being twisted around. I might defect to Fox News. Mm-hmm. Okay, because my truth is not being represented accurately <laughs> on it. Mark, I put in a resume at OAN, and I have yet to hear back. So here we go. I'll go to B in sports right <laughs> yeah, now. B in sports immediately. <laughs> right now. I will be the first sports anchor in Newsmax. Today, Donald Trump dunked the basketball. Okay, (laughs) here we go. So I'm in the car. She's in the car seat, okay? And Donald Trump shot a 27 (laughs) today. Unbelievable. The guy, nine straight birdies in eight holes. He didn't think it was possible, but he did it. Back to you in the studio, Clark. Uh, Oh, Um, boy. So... I'm right, you know, (laughs) Trump just made Secretariat at a foot race. Guys... Guys, uh, <laughs> this just into Newsmax Sports. Ted Cruz did 38 push-ups in the Cancun airport in a row. <laughs> the guy is a, thing, is a superhero. The first thing I thought when I saw the Ted Cruz story, because they had all the details, and they're like, you know, whatever, the uh, the Four Seasons or the Ritz-Carlton in Cancun is 350 a night. And I started thinking, I was like, I might need to go down to Cancun. <laughs> yeah. Seems reasonable. It's not a bad rate. It seems, seems pretty reasonable. I mean, you paid like 380 a night at a W <laughs> outside New York City. A, all right, follow so, Teddy down south. <laughs> so... So we're uh, we're in. I'm in the car with Rosie, yeah. and I feed her, and she's like, "She's doing pretty good." And then all of a sudden, you just hear, "Oh!" Pfft. And I was like, "Oh God, no!" Okay, so now I got to change her. I am on I'm the up. side of Olympic at a meter, oh, at yeah. like oh. Olympic and Fairfax, and it is like oh, the busiest good. intersection ever. That also, on Wednesday or Tuesday, I forget what day it was, it rained, so yeah. it was cold and it was windy outside. Yeah. So I, we have these like pads in the back. I take the pad out. I lay her in the front seat. She's like rolling into the thing. Like, into the... her head. And she's like, ah! I'm like, dad's trying. This is a disaster. I'm like, I'm changing her diaper. It's everywhere. Blow out. I have to take off all of her clothes. Oh, boy. Because there's poop on her shirt and on her pants. I, I take it. I throw that. I put them in like a trash bag, jam them in. I get a onesie out. It's not big enough. We had pre-packed this thing before we knew the size of a uh, child. Yeah. So yeah. I just wrap her in a I wrap her in a blanket <laughs> and I'm sitting in the back in just a diaper. I'm in the back seat with her. She's yeah. not crying. She's just like, this is hilarious. And Amanda texts me. He's like, I'll be out in a second. I was like, I don't mean to be a dick here, but can you can you like hurry? Dad is maxed out here. <laughs> dad, 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 dad hit his dad wall today. One moment and he had to <laughs> yeah. tag out. And he's really Stop. like he. <laughs> Do it. Stop. Pooping. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what happened. I mean, like, I feel like I failed my daughter, and then I'm just like holding her in this blank, and I'm like, <sighs> I deal with the goddamn customers. <laughs> I, I, I'm a people person. I'm a people person. See, here's my theory about person. all this. I have a theory that I'm fine with the with, with, with the poo, with the yeah. pee, with the diapers, with all yeah. that stuff. The thing that would just wreck me is when the baby's crying oh, and I can't stop can't it stop. from crying. Yeah. No matter of uh, finely crafted joke, yeah. key jangling, changing, nothing. feeding, nothing. What do you do? Has that happened to you? Oh yet? yeah. <laughs> so she hates getting her diaper changed. Like most babies do, sure. they don't like it because you're sure. like. They're exposed, and you're like wrangling them around. You're wiping everything. It's like it's yeah, a scene, man. It's, it's, a scene. it's she, and but she doesn't like cry very loud yeah. yet. She kind of oh, has this nice. like she has this like mini pterodactyl, and it's kind of like a, right. It, it, that's exactly what it sounds that's like. Exactly I'm, I'm surprised I nailed that that that's, first that my first well. attempt on the microphone. That really? Exactly like a dino yeah. bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she starts going. Sometimes she just like if you give her the the pacifier. Which I brought up to the doctor. I don't know if any baby under 10 days old has ever done this, but she takes both hands and holds the pacifier in her mouth. Like she's got good hand eye oh, coordination. That's awesome. ever, oh, that's awesome. Already. Yeah. Like I've yeah. given her the grip and she's put both hands on the grip. It's an great. early sign that she's going to be a great athlete. You yes. might want to steer her more towards golf or tennis because she Correct. likes to yeah. use her hands. I just found out not legal in soccer. No. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. No. So uh, Mark Riley player. played high school soccer. Yeah. So that's it's called like a handball. Yeah. Handball. Yeah. Handball. Well, you know what? <laughs> After the way you took my comments about a member of your family, I'll allow that. <laughs> Not that it was intended that way, but because it hit your uh, sleep-deprived dad brain. What, yeah. what is Amanda? Com- Amanda comes back to that car to oh, find yeah. you 
So holding a naked poop covered baby crying no, no, wrapped steam in a towel. coming out of your engine <laughs> windows broken the ba- the baby has been cleaned and rediapered tow truck out there there's she a has tow truck there's a homeless guy sleeping in the back seat with a boom box from 88 <laughs> Honey, I called triple I didn't know what else to do. that that homeless guy from back to the future on the bench is like <laughs> what happened it's changing a tire some guy there literally the the parking attendant was walking by and I was like I if my meter runs out right now you cannot give me a ticket she's like no yeah yeah I got it. Like, I yelled at her. She walked by. And then some guy walks by on his phone in scrubs because it's like a hospital kind of area. He's like, where the fuck are you? And I was like, is that guy a doctor? <laughs> Do doctors talk like Do doctors talk like Is he the guy from, from Killer John or whatever? Is that is that the guy? <laughs> Killer John. Well, yeah. I just delivered yeah. this baby for this, like, seven. <laughs> She's hot from a distance. <laughs> I have to take the space shuttle to see it. Oh, good you lord. You should see us smoking from the Great Wall of China. Oh, man. You are going to hear about this one from Amanda. I will tell uh, you. It was a compliment I, to I, her radiant beauty. I, mm-hmm. I, we, mm-hmm. The court submitted evidence to court yep. of the intention. I won on appeal. <laughs> of the intention. I won, here's the thing. I, I'm like, uh, who's somebody that won on appeal? Well, like, I don't want to go OJ. I, like an Amy Fisher. <laughs> didn't she get offered? Did she get a Joey Buttafuoco? <laughs> a, um, I don't know. Let's check out Jay Leno's monologues from 91 and see if he got off. <laughs> but, uh, hey, 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 Joey Buttafuoco. Hey, 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 we took one in the face. Yeah. Hey, Josh hey, McGuga had a kid. Hey, Kev. Kev, you hear kids pupa? He had a little bit of problem. And now the dancing Eos. Olympic in Fairfax. What? Wait, is it his wife's doctor at Carl's Jr.? <laughs> There is a Carl's Jr. I know, I know. I've been there. So uh, Amanda comes in. I've got one. the baby's cleaned in mm. a new diaper, but just wrapped in a blanket. Okay. She's not crying or anything. She's just sitting there, just kind of like, gotcha, bitch. And I am si- I'm I am just maxed out. I'm sitting in this tight yeah. car. There's just no room to change a baby yeah. in a car that has a lot of stuff already in it. And that's when I said to Amanda, I was like, we need to clean out your effing trunk. I'm tired of just trash bags being in there that you're supposed to take to your sister that has like throw like pillows that you want to give her. We need to clean that out. We need to create a baby station. This is step one to Josh going, so guys, we bought a minivan. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm telling you, my next purchase, I'm getting rid of the Civic. It's gone. I'm buying a truck. I'm buying a truck because I can lay. Yeah. Truck or minivan? I'm getting a pickup truck. Are, okay. are, are you going to park it at the fire station? <laughs> yes. They're, they might let you. Yeah. You can, you can this, sweet talk. This is Marty going to take it to the lake for the weekend? Yeah. What are you doing here with this truck? Do, oh, have, you ever, have you ever left Rosie at the fire station and then come back five minutes later like, guys, I'm just kidding. <laughs> gotcha. Well, <laughs> the funny thing is. You guys watch it for an hour? <laughs> I said, I, I see the fire guys in the fire department because they go to the Rock and Roll Rouse. Yeah. That first day that I'm home with the baby, I see fire department guys shopping at the Rouse. And I said, hey, are you guys at the station at uh, 1435, whatever, North Gardner? And they were like, yeah, that's us. And I was like, listen, I live right next door. And I just had a newborn. That's so not I, Josh's address. He changed the street. No, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I just had a newborn. Uh, I just want you guys to know that. And they're like, what, are you going to drop it off? And I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, this uh, looks too Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's crusty. Son of a. <laughs> Tommy Gavin as <clears throat> Dennis Leary, firefighters. Like, Good what do you, what do you want us to do with your baby? Yeah. Congratulations on the like, fucking- No, if there's an emergency call and you, you know who it is. It's me. Uh, like, something happened to the baby. I'm just going to run it straight to your door and be like, oh, God, oh, my God. That's not bad. You prepare them now because those guys have seen it also. Now, I think firefighters at this point, they're like, if a baby gets dropped off there, that's mm. the new kid's responsibility. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, hey, kid, the when probie. you're done washing the truck, yeah, go find what to do with this kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's just wonderfully dark, and I love it. Um, <laughs> this is very Jiminy Glick. Yeah. This is yeah. one nutty show. Jiminy Glick. Wonderfully dark. <laughs> it, 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 it's... <laughs> Right hand holes today. So um, Josh McCougar, let's talk about baby's poo. Uh, <laughs> 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 There's a lot uh, of did, I thought you were going to ask like the firefighters, like, I just had a newborn baby. Do you mind keeping the sirens off <laughs> yeah, to get you, up the street? Could you not run the Jaws of Life testing it out at like <laughs> 8.30 in the morning? Oh, what a surprise. What a wonderful uh, surprise. We none are, of you guys knew this was happening. I, we no, did, I, I did, did not, not know. Did not know. Did not, did not know. know that. Um, did well, not I know. wasn't going to tell any. I wasn't even going to tell Akaika until this morning because Amanda said, "Let's see how we sleep tonight, and then okay. in the morning, if I feel like it, you can go and see the boys." Oh, nice. okay. I love yeah. Old Smokey, right. your eating history partner in Chad says, "Dude, Josh, buy a minivan. It was the best purchase I ever made." Nice. When she gets into school. Yeah. We'll be hauling around all her friends to cheer practice or softball practice, whatever she's into. Mm-hmm. I think Old Smokey's telling you yeah, what it is. Come I kind of want to get one of those really old ones that looks like I'm living in it. Yeah. <laughs> so that like people are like. 
like, oh, I tin feel foil in one of the guy. windows with the, with the little the, the curtains. Yes. Yeah. Do here's that. what. Here's my advice. <laughs> get one that. When the van is a rocking, don't bother get one knocking. that guzzles the most gas. Yes, yeah. because because soon you're not going to be able to get any of those things anymore, and everybody's yeah. going to be driving around in an electric car, which is good for the environment. Yeah. But if we're getting our last licks in, might as well rip it up. Enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, it's like eventually they're going to outlaw hamburgers. <laughs> they're going to say we got to stop eating cows because they're yep. they're farting too much. Yep. Yep. And on the day before that gets outlawed, mm-hmm. do you know what the line for buttery jacks oh, is going to no, be? It's Jack in the box. Amazing. It's going to be amazing. I will the be line at the, the In-N-Out all the time, anywhere you go, is already absurd. You imagine like the day they outlaw hamburgers, like the last day of In-N-Out. There's literally <laughs> going to be people with swords. I, it's going to say it's, it's a Denzel Washington I, yes. apocalypse. I want John to eat my burger. Yeah. You know, I, I get a double-double at the, the In-N-Out, and, and I'm excited, oh. and it's, just, it's, it's not a lot of meat. It's, yeah, it's, it's all right. Uh, you, 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 not a lot of meat. It's, it's, listen, double, I've double? never... Yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not. It's very... It's two steakums. Yeah, it's the uh, yeah, in and out. Kind of, that's kind of the. the I point. don't discriminate. Just give me yeah. all the. I, I, at this point, I want any burger. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I like the Wendy's. I like Burger King. That's like the Parsing. real question. That's like why he's Bell. here. Yeah. That's why in-N-Out. he's here. Yeah, because sure, sure. Josh left this morning and he told his wife, "Hey, honey, I'm dying for Wendy's," because he lives <laughs> not too far from a Wendy's, but that Wendy's is always super crowded. Yeah, I'm gonna get and me so a square burger. And so he's out here yeah. under the guise of popping into the show. There is a Wendy's in Burbank. Yeah, there is. Where are you going on the way home? Yeah, heading up to the Empire Center, aren't yes, you? Yes, it might be. Getting a square patty. I'll be honest. Do it. <laughs> Salted fr- sea salt fries. Here's the thing is, Amanda every night will be like, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> She's like, no. And I was like, Shake Shack? She's like, I don't want fast food every night. I was like, I know, but we just had a baby. And like, if this is Use the time it. to like Use really it. rip it up, like, let's rip it up. Then we can start talking about like getting back in shape. Because you know what we've had? We've had like salads and, oh, s- no. and friggin' sushi. Oh, boy. No, you, you get oh, no. two weeks of, like, uh, the shakies, all-you-can-eat lunch yeah. that you and I had the day oh, we man. thought we were going to get laid off from Collider. We just... It was just two weeks later. Yeah, <laughs> two weeks. We missed it. <laughs> missed it by that much. We were sitting, and I was like, should we get two more slices? And you're like, I mean, should I got get, like, potato a wedges on You know pizza? what? That's fun. One time, we, me and the other telemarketers, including Steve Simone and Fat James, God rest his soul, we went across the street to the uh, shakies, that yeah. is on uh, Highland and a, uh, yeah. Highland and Third Street. I want to yeah. say, it's, it, it, yeah, it's no longer there. Hollywood. Yeah, we gone. went to Shakey's and we sat down and we got the what, what are those uh, the bo- disco the Mojo potatoes. The, the, we, we got the Mojo potatoes and then we decided on getting a pitcher of beer because we got intel that layoffs were happening. Oh, boom! And we all got pretty wasted. And then we come back for the lunch. None of us got laid off. As a matter of fact, they had brought in somebody named Bobby who Bob. was a motivational Bob. speaker mm. yeah. to pump us up to sell oh, yeah. even more. Mm. At that meeting, Steve Simone at the end, Bobby's like, Steve, I'm, d- I'm just not getting a great read off you. <laughs> and Steve said, yeah, I, I, I think I'm done here. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm done. I'm done. And he, he just left. I'm Weirdly done. enough, that's the exact same line I got from Steve Simone when he quit Guilty <laughs> Guilty Moody Pleasures. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, just hearing that story. I'm like, well, that, remember that he did that to me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just done here. It was me, Rick Ingram, Steve Simone, uh, and uh, Steve. Just that was his last. What a crew! It. What uh, a great show! But what a crew! You guys are like the Brooklyn Nets. I know Brooklyn we Nets. really were. They just got <laughs> adding talent to us, and they fired us anyway. We never won a championship. <laughs> Anytime you mention In and Out, there's always a debate this way. In and Out's the worst. I despise In and Out. A lot of people like saying you West Coasters keep having that In and Out. Don't believe us. What I need to try this going water on. I need to try it's, this water. It's burger. it's, it's oh, In and yeah, Out is just the Texas. most underwhelming thing. Yeah, yeah we'll have to go to Texas. Riley to did burger. not like it. Ken did what, not. What about Water Burger? No, I like Water Burger. Oh, I love Water Burger was uneventful for me. Well, you keep calling it Water. Burger. It's, it's whatever. What whatever. It's <laughs> whatever burger. Twenty one. Should have called it burger. It's whatever I'd, in Houston. Yeah, because yeah. of JJ. Correct. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Oh That's boy. That's a pun right there. Oh boy. Do you guys want to hear a quick dad joke? Yeah, let's yeah. do it uh, as we start to wrap up here. Joel Roston with a super chat. There's nothing wrong with a good burger. Five Guys Culver's or Chick Fil A sandwiches are always tasty. Yeah, that's like you don't lose. No. It's just if you're ranking things. Five Guys not my favorite, but also I haven't had it enough to not love it. Do you know what I mean? Do yourself a favor. Go to Five Guys. Okay. Go to Five Guys. You might see me there. Why are you playing um, guys? Because, Josh, here's the, th- here's, here's the thing. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Uh, you, uh, they have peanuts in a big barrel that you can I, eat heard, while you're waiting. Uh, yeah. Yes. Here's what you do. When you go to Five Guys, you get whatever burger you fancy and get the fries. Get the fries Cajun style. The oh. Cajun seasoning. Oh. Look, we're getting the thumbs up from a guy who is literally protected by sharks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is that a Metallica? Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's, he's just making all the right moves on a Friday. <laughs> uh, my mom, uh, totally off, but off his shirt. My mom uh, FaceTimed me the other day. I thought she wanted to talk to Rosie. No, no. She was like, I'm cleaning out your closet. I need you to go through these shirts. And she's just holding up shirts at the FaceTime. She held up a tie-dyed one that was like a Grateful Dead on skis. And my mom was like, you want to keep this? I was like, no, but also maybe. Those things were huge. <laughs> Huge. Those dancing bear tie dye shirts in the nineties, oh, and I yes. had no yeah. idea. I had heard of Grateful Dead, and then I saw these shirts. I had no idea that they were the same thing until I saw Bill Walton yeah. on some yeah. uh, on some pregame show wearing one. And I put, I did the math. Yep. There you and go. then my uh, then my dad said, "Mark, we got to go for a long drive." Bill Walton, he's like, "I'm not Irish. Today I'm Lithuanian. 1992 <laughs> yeah, right. Olympics. Was... They're all in tie dye." Bill Walton's like, "Oh my God, my people! I'm now Lithuanian. Did you hear Sarunas me?" Serunas uh... the greatest shooter in warm ups I've ever seen. Um, are, are we? If, if we're closing up, shop, we're closing yes. up shop. I'm actually going to stay in the studio for another. Because you got to buy Top Shot. Top. Because I'm buying yeah. Top Shot right What's now. What's that mean? But oh, I need I'll, to tell we'll Josh get... McCuga something on air. Is that yeah. I got to be honest. Honest. Now, mm. I did the show. I think I did your last show before you said goodbye. You yeah. um, and you had the baby. Uh -huh. And on behalf of everybody here, I, we didn't know what to expect. Yeah, yeah. We, didn't know what to we, we didn't know what to expect from social media, mm -hmm. from our text chain. Now, to Josh's credit, we've been in pretty good contact. Sure. Mm -hmm. He has not complained once. Okay. And and you just yeah. don't know what yeah. to expect. Not that he's a whiny kind of guy, but you just don't know if he's like, guys, I'm really overwhelmed. Kids, uh, he Everything he writes is how much he loves this little girl, yeah. is how proud he is of his wife, and we could not be prouder of you. Oh, you are yeah, holding yeah. up your end of the bargain. Yes, and I lost money in Vegas on that. Thing. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. No, it's uh, it, I love this We can upgrade thing. you. It's great. Yeah. I mean, for right now, it's it's amazing. She's a little sweetheart. You know, that little girl looks up at you, and she's got her eyes wide open. Like, Because it's not often. Because they're little babies. They still like to sleep all the time. Yeah. Her eyes wide open. She's just looking at you. And you know she doesn't know who you are yet, but she she knows your voice now. And yeah, like, she kind of does. She kind of does. Old Waterworks over here just loses it at least <laughs> once a day. <laughs> That's so I want more crying. <laughs> oh, more crying. <laughs> more crying. Yeah. Make sure you put it right. Yeah. Wait, wait, you gotta you gotta figure out the right caption. I made Amanda cry the other day because I was crying. It's like my grandma sent us like a nice little gift, wow. and I like my grandma's ninety one. And, and like then a, the relatives even showed up, uh, right? Yeah, uh, not yet. John and Deborah to show up balling. They're gonna be oh, in the airport balling. Are you kidding me? John McCuga hasn't cried yet, but you know he will. He's oh, like, are you? Are we? Do we have fact? Deb, text me if he's. I bet he's cried. Oh, I'm sure. He I has. bet he's cried. Yeah, they're they're getting their second vaccine on the twenty fifth of March. And nice. Then on and then they're coming out for a couple weeks. Django, Django got a man going chat. He's crying. You know, you're making people cry. Yeah. I think Josh is getting a little misty. Right? He's going misty. Think guys, that it's baby. an emotional roller coaster. Just like up and you, down, up you and again. Down. I love my nieces and my nephews, and I and I would not, and they're amazing little kids. But there's nothing like being a parent. You look into that kid's eyes. You look into little Rosie's eyes, and you're just like, I'm going to protect you forever. I will oh. literally murder a ch somebody if they ever mess with you. I, I will. Yeah. And I will put them in the back of my van with curtains. Yes, I will, I will keep them back there. I will bury a body. If some if some boy if she comes home and she's like nine and she's like uh, Carter was mean to me I was like where's Carter live where yeah. do you live I will I will go there yeah. there is a scene everybody needs to see in the movie Den of Thieves okay Den of not Thieves. a oh, bad movie I've, it's a great movie Gerard Butler um and there's a scene, Fifty Cent's in it and there's a scene where Fifty Cent is in this 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 roughneck crew of yeah. folks who rob stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but it's you kind of root for the crew because they are themselves a family, just yes. on yes. the wrong side of the law. Yeah. So Fifty Cent has his family; he's got a nice house. Kid shows up, takes his daughter to prom, yep. and and Fifty's like, uh, just before, let, let me let, let me come, just give you just just a real walk. Yeah. And he walks him into the garage, and who's waiting for him in the garage? Everybody else in the crew on the wrong side of the law, uh -huh. and they're just oh, looking this yeah. guy up and down. He says, "You better have her home by 10 p.m. Yeah. or else it's going to be hell to pay." Now, as soon as the kid leaves, they all start laughing. Yeah. Can we be that crew? Yes, 100%. Yeah. How much do we have to be in better shape before we can <laughs> yep. intimidate yeah. a boy? You guys got to hit the auditorium pretty hard. Old knee knobs over here. Yeah. Mark, Mark Riley. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, ever, you, you never You'll seen see. uh, Mark Riley's high school picture of his knees? You know that was 25 years ago. <laughs> but how are the knobs? No. <laughs> how are the knobs? But here's the funny thing is you three are the least threatening people of all time. Maybe if Ikaika walked in not smiling, that like some kid might be a little scared. Like, I, I'd be like, hey, kid, listen. 
I'm more de- I can't do it. I, I found our new game is is yeah. like a Friday night drinking game with the GPA faithful. Is you put a camera on Ikaika and you see how long he can go without smiling. Yeah. I don't think he can go it's past not, 25 no. seconds. Yeah. I just tried. I do last three seconds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be a funny like, like a make me laugh game show. Mm-hmm. You can have that one. For uh, love the it. the old uh, wine hunk. It. It's great to see yeah. you boys. Great to Good be day. back. Good to be, you'll be back oh. Monday for positivity. Back Monday. <laughs> Natasha Martinez will be here Monday. Yep. Yep. Uh, Sinead nice. DeFries book for Thursday. I believe Belinda Garcia on Friday. She's a little. She's awesome. She's nice. part of the kind of funny crew. Uh, I still got a couple other guests I need to book. I keep getting texts from this Mark Ellis guy. And I'm I'll like, show up. You're hot from afar, Mark. Yeah, I'll show up. Hot I am not. I am not. You see me from a di- Here's the point. You see me up close and you're like, no, forget it. You even see me from far away and you're like, I'll probably take a pass. <laughs> you, they're like, okay, maybe. I'll wait to get a closer look. And that's all I was saying about Amanda is that from a distance, it's like, wow, she's gorgeous. And so you know she's going to be hot up close. Yeah. Was the point? I will, of the, I will yeah. do that. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll get back to we're, normal. We're never talking with again. the uh, the. I just uh, leave. I just throw down headphones. Videos. Uh, we got oh today on Twitch 3 p.m. Pacific. We got Friday Night Lights until Ooh. they sue us. Mark Riley, me, Madden Football, 3 p.m. on Twitch.tv slash Good People GPA. Yeah. We got the putting green set up. That's uh, we'll be back on doing that on the main show soon. I'm gonna bring in my phone balls and a wedge. Uh, there you go. To, we're gonna set up some of the things for like a full on ex- golf just experience. Full on I, um, golf experience. I'm just happy that I was here today all, of all days because Ken, I think I speak for everybody yeah. here when I say we taught the world a lot about the benefits of cryotherapy. We did not get to the topic today. Uh, <laughs> the only two people I know who do this are Kathy Kelly and Mark Ellis. Yeah. You all go get yourself frozen. I think we're going to make that. We're going to do that. Going to tape it soon and we'll put it. You take us. I can take the I can take the dad here after we swing by five guys. Yeah. <laughs> On the way home. Guys, I'm only allowed out of the house bed. for two hours at a time. Like, I gotta get back. <laughs> He's got to get back. He's the got clock it. is a ticking. Amanda's over there uh, yeah. waiting. Yeah. Uh, all right, a lot of fun. Good to have you back. Thanks, buddy. Can't wait to have you back. We'll be back. We're gonna, 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 thanks, guys. It's I, like Ted sh- Lasso. When does the next kid come? Uh, you guys, we get, let's. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, hmm, I want more seasons. Yeah. Let's get the minivan. Let's uh, get the minivan first. Minivan's about to run. Next week, I think I should be on the main show. Uh, probably and definitely Josh Brady. So and yeah. we're gonna figure out Ooh, things in okay. between that. Yeah, um, we're not gonna bring back afternoons until Amanda. I think is ready. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, we're, we're good. Right, but we get, we we'll about. figure all that out. Uh, been a lot of fun. Yeah, you yeah. can check out yesterday's Internet for Old People episode. That's up. A lot of cool things. You can go to the GPA dot fund to join the association. Become a bucket club member. Get yourself a bucket. There, the law. So many people got buckets right now. We, we appreciate your pictures. Yeah. We've been sharing them on the main show. We'll continue to do that. Uh, thank you for your support. Check out that merch or uh, merch store. Uh, more stuff on the way, but also cool items already there. Uh, and of course, every uh, episode when we raise a little money, portions of those proceeds go to charities. This week, we're making our donation to the Epilepsy Foundation at epilepsy.com. Help end epilepsy together. Hashtag find the good, something we believe in here. So, for Josh Makuga, for Hot from Mars, Mark Ellis, Mark Riley at the bar. <laughs> The shark to con a kike at the, the desk. Shark to con, shark <laughs> been the positivity report. Bye-bye. Bye bye. I got my glass. I got my glass. Woo!